what is a get home bag? Why do I need one? And what's the difference in a get home bag versus a 72 hour kit? Hi guys, my name is Joan Haney. My friends and family call me the Prepper Mom. And so just want to share with you. So a 72 hour kit, you're going to use it whenever there's a man-made or natural disaster or major emergency and you need to get away from your home really, really quick and you're going to be gone for at least 72 hours. So this is going to give you the food, water, clothing, medicine, everything that you would need to survive for that first 72 hours. A uh, get home bag is totally different. This is something that you want to have in your car. And um, it's so if there is a, a major emergency or something happens um, and you need to be able to get home, your vehicle's not working, the transportation that you normally use to get back home is um, either not available, not working, and you need to get home and you need to get home ASAP. So the, the get home bag is going to assure you that you have the things that you need to survive to be able to get home and to get home quickly and safely. So first thing that I recommend having in your, um, your get home bag is a handheld dual radio. Uh, this is a VHF and UHF. It has more frequencies on it and it also has FM tuned to it. So I can get a hold of my husband and kids, adult kids, and um, neighbors and friends who have these and find out what in the heck's going on and go ahead and let them know I'm okay and I'm on my way home. The next thing that you wanna make sure that you have in your get home bag is there's a rule of three. You can live three minutes without air and three days without water and, um, and three weeks without food. So water is gonna be really, really important. And so if you if you're only, you go to work or you travel a whole lot and it's only 15 to 30 miles or so away, you can probably get by with just a small um, gym bag or tote like this and to put your essentials in. We always, no matter what, if you if you are an hour away, two hours, three hours, or even a whole lot longer, you're going to need a lot bigger uh, backpack, and you might even need something like your 72-hour kit. Whenever I travel and um, go out of town or go out of state, and I'm driving, I'm taking my 72-hour kit. Whenever I travel on a plane, I take extra essentials with me in this bag. And just in case, I always have extra um, food and water in that. And so the first thing that you want to have, besides you want to have your water, and I'm going to just um, move things aside a little bit so I can keep straight as I go through this. So I want to have um, water and then and also food. And so I'm going to have snacks. This has got two meals, tuna and salmon in it, um, uh, some raisins, some nuts, and some protein bars. So that's important. You know, have you some food. Hopefully you'll be okay and all you're going to need is some water and get home. Also, too, um, something that I, that I think of right off of the bat um, that means a whole lot to me is I have extra, I have extra shoes in my vehicle during the winter time. Um, I actually, ha I wear boots when I, insulated boots when I leave the house or go to town and I change my shoes when I get to work or, um, or if I'm at going to someone's home, of course you can take them off if it's too hot. So, and we're in winter time right now, so you, you, th you gotta think differently and your clothes that you're gonna have need to be, um, Need, need to be appropriate for the weather, whether it's summer or winter, depending on where you live. So one of the things you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have, and I always leave the house with a coat, so, but a puffy coat, that's um, real important to have. And um, in this bag here, this is just a, a stuff bag, and I have different sizes in. This already has my coat for my go bag. It has socks, it has a um, sun hat, and like a boonie hat for me to be able to use to, to shade my um to shave my face and head and then also since it's cold weather this is open so you can see it this is another stuff bag have a, a gator um a hat a gator and some warm gloves so that's real important too so i've got it open so you can see it but you can draw string it down i really really prefer to have um compression bags because this is a sleeping bag and that's all the size it is because you have a real nice compression bag to tighten it down and that gets all the air out of it and it helps so um so that's the sleeping bag so i'm going to put that over here so it's out of the way and then inside of it in case i end up 
overnight have a bivy bag. So you put this around the outside of your sleeping bag. It's breathable, but yet it's waterproof. So it protects you from, um, from getting wet. And that's real important, especially in cold weather or whatnot, you don't want to get wet. Also too, during the winter time, I have hand warmers and foot warmers, which help out a whole lot. Those are really nice too. And then let's see, going through the list here. So I would, so you got your water, and then another thing that's super important to me that I always want to make sure that I have is um, is a flashlight. Is a flashlight. I have a lot of extra LED batteries with me, and then I like a headlamp. And women, this is really really important. I had a flat tire one time, and when you have one of these headlamps on, it's up on your head, of course. And um, I have one in my coat for the barn. I have a knife. I have. Um, uh, a smaller flashlight uh, for the whenever I go out to the barn, just in case I need it. And they they basically that's called everyday carry. So what you care carry every day. So this is Cabela's little knife and uh, flashlight. They aren't anything super special, but they are nice. Uh, and um, so you want to have uh, make sure you have light. So I have this this light and um, and the headlamp. So that works really really well. And then, so I'm gonna just put these over here so as I go through them. And then one of the things that you wanna make sure to do is do not leave your batteries in your lamps, your headlamps. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but this, um, it just totally runt this, um, this flashlight. The, all the metal pieces and stuff just totally disintegrated. So real, real nice headlamp and it was damaged because of that. So don't have your batteries in there. Okay, so um, another thing, just in case it's a long time, I've got toothbrush and, um, and toothpaste as well. And then of course, this is super important, diaper wipes um, used for face or for cleaning or going to the restroom. Those are really, really nice too. Um, and then I have this other uh, knife, pocket knife too, old timer, and this is, um, this is a really, really nice knife too, to um, have, and that just goes on your um, your belt buckle, so or your belt, and so you can have it on your body, on yourself. And then um, I've got a, a little first aid kit, and this is just a real, real tiny boo boo kit. So this just basically has band aids and just very um, simple first aid for you. Okay, and then another thing that I have is um, this sole. This is a scout kit. This has a fire starter in it, it has a signaler, it has um, duct tape, um, it has a little teeny compass in it, a whistle, and several other little things. It has um, emergency blanket, and I have an extra emergency blanket too that I have in my, um, in my bag. So, and then if it ends up being long-term, oh, sunglasses. That's another thing you want to make sure to have. And then I also have these little teeny chem lights. They work really, really well. And then for your water, there's several things that you can do. You can either use um, uh, tablets to purify your water or this little filter here. This is super cool. This just fits, fits on the top of your water bottle. And I think it says it does like, um, it says 100,000 gallons. It'll filter up to 100,000 gallons. So these are real nice too. So if you're gonna, if you're, hour, two, three, four hours away, and you may not be able to make it home the first day or so, it's critical that you have water, especially when the, the weather is warm outside. And um, also, if it's gonna be for a long period of time, I don't have these in my get home bag, but um, having um, freeze dried foods, they last a long, long time. All you need to do is add some water to them. And so I would recommend in that circumstance, have a, a sterno, if you're long distance, have a, a sterno folding stove and um, have you some sterno to start. Um, to heat up your your food or heat up your water if, if that's something that you, that's up to the individual how far do you live from home it determines whether or not how much food you want to have and you got to think about the weight too these little stoves everything starts adding up there's also um, this little um, stainless steel um, bottle 
and it, it's a cooking kit. It's a literally a cooking kit like the Sterno, and it's really, really nice. You can use that that as well. So I believe, so, oh, rain gear, oh my gosh. You wanna make sure that you have rain gear. So I just got this in here, and I'm gonna actually get a compression bag for this so that it's a whole lot smaller, so that it fits real well in, um, in my uh, bag that, that's in my car. Oh, another thing, like a spork, or this is actually just um, camping uh, silverware too. So for eating your food, that just makes it really nice, extra thing. So I highly recommend getting um, a bunch of these bags, these little, these stuff bags, they're water resistant or waterproof. And um, some of these, this is really nice. This came from REI, this little one here. And um, you just uh, drawstring it and um, it just works really, really well. It helps to keep whatever you got, your clothes and whatnot, from getting, um, from getting damp and just helps to be a little bit more organized. So anyway, um, this is the things that I recommend for a go, your go get home bag. And um, I hope that's been a help to you. There should be a packing list below, so check below. And I uh, love any comments or any questions that you may have. And I hope you have a beautiful day and that you and your loved ones are prepared and safe for whatever's to come down the, the pipe. Have a great day. God bless and keep on prepping. Thank you.